Choppers and they on me now Bitch, all you have is grr, grr, when I'm hopping out Put them bitches in the range, roll Hit a mission with my niggas What up, what up, what up? Alpha Squad, what's going on? Uh, sitting in the sun I am addicted and I have been addicted to saunas and steam rooms Ever since I was a kid, my dad used to take me to the steam room and sweat it out Sweating out all the, like a lot of impurities, uh, cleaning out the pores, it's just really good for you um, Feels good, it's therapeutic, it's soothing And there is, there is a lot of literature and, and, and information out about how it adds to overall health I don't know it off the top of my head. I remember watching it one night and looking up a bunch of things and was like, that's that's on point. And, uh, but I'll research it a little more to give y'all more information. But y'all can research it yourself. The health benefits, the benefits of using a sauna. But uh, uh, actually, Dr. Dr. Rhonda Patrick, I believe that's her name. I'll link her channel down below. She talks a lot about it too. She's actually really dope. Um, I follow her and I listen to a lot of her vlogs and her podcasts, watch her videos. She's good, a lot of information, you know? Let's talk about information. Let's talk about uh, consumption, right? They say you are what you eat. So you should eat healthy. You know, generally speaking, when you eat bad, junk food, fatty food, you know, things that are not healthy, you look bad. Your body is out of whack, out of shape. Your organs aren't functioning properly. You're not thinking good, you're not sleeping well, you're moody. There's so many things that comes with that. So let's go into what we consume audio wise, visually wise, mentally wise, right? So <clears throat> a lot of, if y'all seen my subscription list, the stuff that I subscribe to is, I got, you know, fitness. I got, of course, CT Fletcher Pops. I got uh, Super Training. I got uh, Stan Efferding. I got uh, Flag No Fail, Rob, Rob Bailey's channel, which I love, Dana Lynn Bailey's channel, Casey Neistat, Gary Vaynerchuk, Andy Frisella. You know, I got my staple people that I follow, Dexter Jackson, that I follow and I love. But there's people that I follow that most of y'all may not have heard of, you know, and y'all can follow these channels too. ASAP Science, Veritasium, Veritasium 2, uh, Vsauce is quirky. Uh, uh, be smarter every day. Uh, Nat Geo, you guys know that. Uh, Discovery. Um, there's a lot of channels on YouTube that are just fascinating. And just, oh, Joe Rogan. That's what I, I fucks with Joe Rogan tough. You know what I mean? Uh, but that, these are like staple things. I, I'd rather consume media and information that's good for me, that I'm learning from, that I'm gaining perspective from, you know, or making me laugh or something but not garbage, not drama, not negativity. I don't consume any of that, you know? And I don't put any of that out. Any negativity that comes to my, my life, my way, I block it and I, and I ignore it and I suffocate that shit. So I don't give that to y'all. I give y'all positive shit. I, I, I feel an obligation. It's not even an obligation, I want, I feel good to give good information, good energy, good vibes, positivity. Things that you could take something from and grow from, you know? Um, a lot of people say, oh, well, when you're in a good space in your life, it's easy to give advice, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, yeah, you, it, it makes sense, you know? I, life wasn't always gravy, you know what I mean? And I did, you know, things to get it to where it is now, and I'm still continuing that process in that upward trajectory. Now, along that process, I've gathered a lot of things, a lot of information. Just like some of these other successful people that I that I I follow, you know. So why wouldn't I get my source of information from people who's made it, people who's making it, you know? And you too. So that's why I, I choose to give y'all the some of the mental jewels that I've learned on my journey, and that I'm learning daily. Daily I'm learning and growing and getting better, you know. I'm gonna start talking to y'all, you know. And I like to imp uh, give you guys things that I've implemented into my life to try. I never say you got to do this or you're not going to be successful, but things that are helping me like meditation. Now, I call it more, I'm not an advanced meditating guy at all, you know? So what I do is I focus on my breathing and that in itself is a task. You have, you, you'd be surprised how difficult it is 
to block everything out. Not think about anything except for your breathing. There's nothing as pure as breathing, as your breath. And that's what I do. So every day I go in my backyard when I'm home. I got, I got my chair against the wall back, back behind the grateful trees. And I sit, I close my eyes, I breathe. I'm gonna stop because I'll fall into a trance, but, and I focus on my breathing and I love it. You find you, you're at one with yourself. Nothing else exists but you. It's just good, it's healthy, it's purifying, it's cleansing. I'm not thinking deep thoughts. I'm not thinking about my next plan. I'm not thinking about anything. I'm just concentrated on my breathing. And I found that to be an easy way, an easier way to meditate and to block things out. You know, you owe it to yourself to give yourself at least five, 10 minutes a day. You're gonna start out, I used to, I, I started out with just five minutes a day. Then that five minute session would turn into 10 minutes, 10 to 15. Then now I'm breaking it up all throughout the day. So anytime that I can get a chance to sit and be still, I do it. But I'll give y'all more on that as I develop more on that. You know, just like with the eating, I gave y'all what I where I'm at currently. I'm not an expert at any of this, but you know, just yesterday we met a doctor, uh, a guy right here in Sydney. Uh, he went to medical school in New Zealand. He's practicing medicine, and this guy was fit. Uh, how old would you say he was? He about 50, 60? 47. 47, 50. Yeah. He looked good. Tight waist, no stomach. You know, just trim, strong, healthy. So I was talking to him about it. And he was, everything that I've been telling you guys, he was saying. T, Uncle T could tell you. <laughs> I'm not making this up. But I'm not going to give you guys bullshit. I don't, I'm not promoting this way of eating so you could buy supplements for me. That's not, you know, that's not the end all to my life, me selling supplements. That's just one little small piece of my life. And just so you know, my supplement company is one business of mine. I have many. I have, I have money invested and I own shares of companies that brings me a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? That I don't talk about because it's just, you know, that's not my place for those particular businesses. But that's not the end all to me is selling supplements. I sell supplements. I got myself to a position to where I could do what the fuck I want. You know, and selling supplements, making supplements is something that I wanted to do for a long time. Okay? I think it's fascinating that we can create things to help us, you know, to make life a little bit, increase the quality of life a little bit. And supplements don't replace food. Food is food. Supplement is a supplement. It's an addition, it's to help our training, our, our, our nutrition, and it's helped me a great deal, especially now with me eating one meal a day. Cause those, those alpha vegan shakes, baby, it hold, those hold me over the way I make it, hold me over a lot uh, more than a meal. And I'm gonna tell you what I put in it. Uh, I use coconut milk or almond milk, but I like coconut milk. Uh, and I use the sweet one, the, the vanilla one. I put a whole banana. I put two heaping scoops of, uh, of peanut butter. I just started using uh, the peanut butter that Flex Lewis sells. Uh, he sent me a box and I love it. But I use peanut butter or you can use almond butter. I also put a scoop of superfoods in it. I throw a scoop of overtraining solution. It keeps me from getting sick. It keeps me, you know, it, it helps me recover fast since I'm not eating a whole lot. <coughs> and uh, what else? And that's it, the two scoops of alpha vegan. Or I'll do the, the, the vegan meal replacement that I got. I'm Gucci, and I do that with a big ass fucking plate of vegetables. And I like vegetables now. I used to hate them, I love them. You know, I'm enthusiastic about plant life. And I want y'all to experience it too. People been, and I keep doing it, screenshotting their meals, their, their prep, with all of this fucking life, all these live enzymes on your, in your pan, on your plate, keep sending that shit to me. I love that. It's, it's showing that us as a society and even on the YouTube community, Facebook community, wherever we at, we're progressing into being just more conscious about our health, you know, better decisions about our health. And that's dope to me. I'd much rather y'all follow me on eating vegetables than something else stupid or goofy, some other aspect of my life, you know? And honestly, I'm not perfect, but 
please believe I'm trying to be. And we all should try to be perfect because if you're always striving for perfection, striving to be a better person, you're always, you're constantly renewing yourselves and who you are. And that's what I'm always doing. So foolish shit in my life that I've done, I don't do anymore. And if there's anything that I do do, I make sure I cut that shit out and I tell my people, yo, check me if you see I'm off on some shit, if I'm wrong. Please, because I may not see it. We all got to be on that. And I'd rather y'all follow that aspect of me than anything. You know, things that's going to give you life. Things are going to make your quality of life better. I heard this quote, this woman said, this is a vegan, uh, naturopathic, holistic uh, doctor, physician. She said that people talk about how you know, life expectancy is, is greater now. We're we living longer. She said, no, people are not living longer. People are dying longer. You know, medication and all this stuff to keep you suffering. It's, let's not suffer. There's certain things that we can't control in life. I get it. But the things that we can't control, the things that we put in our mouths, in our bodies, and in our minds, let's control that. Let's choose different sources of media in which to get information from. Let's choose information. Choose something that makes you laugh, that makes you smile. Choose something that makes you think about your mom or your dad or your kids. Choose something that makes you think about improving your health, improving your strength, your performance. Choose something that makes you think about being a, just an overall good person not just fucking being cool or just being whatever, you know? I'm gonna tell y'all something, man. I'm, I'm evolving daily. I'm, I'm growing daily, you know? A lot of, some people don't like this micro sheet, this evolution of micro sheet. And I understand, you may not like it now, but one day you're gonna understand, okay? One day you will understand and it's cool. It's not for everybody right now. But just keep that in the back of your mind, that life, is way more enjoyable when you are on a path of progr progression, of progress, of embetterment, of embettering the people around you and living a life of service and making people smile, making people, be the reason that somebody had a good day today. I always try to do that. You know, it, it, just, just try it, it feels so good. You're never doing the wrong thing by doing something right and doing something nice for somebody. Anyway. I gotta head out, get to the expo. We're not even gonna film all that today. I don't know, maybe we will. But if not, I'll close this, this vlog right here. Listen, I'm giving y'all me pure 100% unadulterated, uncut me. And I'm giving y'all what I feel is the best type of information to give you from me at this point where I'm at right now. And that's it. So, whether it's to make you smile, whether it's to give you information that I know you can use to better yourself, I'm gonna, that's what I'm doing, you know? Uh, some people don't like the boxing stuff, and they say, oh, you're not a fighter. I am a fighter. I fought all my life. I turned, I was an amateur boxer all my life, you know? I never turned pro. I was really close. I could've did it, you know? I won some big, big amateur titles, you know? I got, I got, you could Google it. I don't know how far back the shit goes, but I got video. <laughs> I got archives. Just go through my, actually go through my channel. Look up Born Warrior. You know, look up Mike Machine Sparring. Like, it's a lot of shit out there. But I'm not, I don't need to prove myself to anybody. I know who I am, what I've done. My kids got all my trophies. I, you know, that's that's the only people that I need to prove anything to, honestly. But I promise y'all, I'm giving y'all nothing but real. You know, it's a lot of bullshit out there. It doesn't, it doesn't affect me. You know, it's unhappy people. And I, I'm not mad at these people. You know, they want to use my name and my pictures for, for, for better SEO benefits and to get people to click into their videos. That's cool. That's like a compliment to me, you know? And if anybody believe information from these kind of people, you know, I don't know what to say, you know? Look at the source of your information. Look at your source. So anyway, but I wish them brothers and sisters, whoever's doing it, I wish them peace, I really do. Because I'll never, somebody that's in a dark space mentally, somebody that's not healthy mentally, I'll never push them into a darker, deeper space. I want them to come out of it. I'm not mad, I promise you, I'm not mad. You know, so much love to everybody out there. I'm gonna end this on a positive note. 
Uh, much love to Australia, Melbourne last month, Sydney this month. It's been amazing. Just like the guy uh, y'all see me sparring with, or not sparring, but showing some pointers too. Cool ass dude. You know, like, hey, Mike, if you don't mind, can you show me a couple pointers if you got time? He was very respectful. I'm like, bro, yes, let's do it. I love that. I love teaching and helping people, you know? So anyway, much love. Much, much love. Peace.